grade 7 learners. Mat gandang araw! How are you doing today? Do you still remember me? Yes! I am Pearl Faith Gabunada Pagas of Moncayo National High School, Moncayo West District, or you can call me Teacher Pearl. Mat sighted akong makasama kayong muli. Mat sighted din ba kayo? I am here to help and motivate you to learn a new lesson in mathematics. But before we proceed, I will give you a minute to get your learning materials such as your pens, your papers, and your self-learning module in module 2. Now that your learning materials are ready, prepare yourself for today's fun exploration and adventure in the field of math. For today's video, we'll talk about measurement and converting measure and solving problems involving conversion of units. Are you ready to learn? So let's begin. We live in a modern world that simply could not exist without measurement. Measurement, as we all know, is the process or the result of determining the ratio of physical quantities. Here, we tend to compare an unknown quantity to a standard unit. Let's say for an instance, you are selling a carpet online. Obviously, you will not just say that the carpet is small or big, nor heavy or light. Your buyers might be confused for they cannot visualize the dimension of the carpet you are selling. This may only drive them to ask how big or heavy the item is. Also, take note that sometimes, to you, the item might appear big, but to others, it is not. Do you see these unfortunate events often posted in social media? People who are buying items online got disappointed because of the size of the item they received. This happens due to lack of knowledge regarding measurement. Online sellers sometimes forget to include accurate descriptions of their items online. On the other hand, the buyers tend not to look at the description of the item that they are buying, like its size or its weight. So the question is, why this happens? You got it right. This happens due to the lack of knowledge regarding measurement. Imagine the world without measurement. The world will be like this. Unimaginable. Again, all these instances emphasize how important it is to have knowledge regarding measurement. Also, we have to remember that a measure should be accurate and precise to become valid. This is the reason why, as time approached modernization, people developed a system of measurement. We realize the need to use standardized units for trade and commerce to avoid conflicts. Moreover, there are two most common systems of measurements that we are still using up until now. Do you recall the metric and English systems of measurement? No? 
perhaps this song about measurement that I'm going to share to you might help you recall the English and metric system. Do you want to hear it? Good! Let's sing along with it. There are 10 millimeters in a centimeter, a hundred centimeters in a meter, a thousand meters in a kilometer. There are 12 inches in a foot, three feet in a yard, 1,760 yards in a mile. There are a thousand grams in a kilo, 16 ounces in a pound, 14 pounds in a stone. So now you know, one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. There is 1.6 kilometers in a mile. For every hundred grams, you get three and a half ounces, and one kilo is two pounds, three ounces, and just a little bit. So if you're six feet tall, that's one meter eighty-three. If you're five feet tall, that's one meter fifty-two. If you weigh two hundred pounds, that's almost 91 kilos 14 stone, 4 pounds and no ounces Measurements, measurements We couldn't live without them Measurements, measurements We use them every day Did you enjoy the song? I believe you did! For you to follow through, please get your module 2 and turn to pages 6 to 8. Do you see the table of English system and metric system found on that page? Good! That would be useful for the conversion of measure later. Before we proceed to the conversion part, let us have a recap on different measuring units that you encounter during your elementary years. Let's do it by answering this simple activity called meant to be. Aww. Oops, I can hear you say now, sana all meant to be. Well, sana nga, but not all units is meant to measure any quantity you like. Item number one, height of a person. Is it meant to be measured by pound, millimeter, or inch? I'll give you five seconds to answer. Your time now begins. If your answer is inch, you're correct. Here, the unit pound is for mass. The unit milliliter is for volume. Only inch is for the length. So it is the answer. For our item number two, distance from Nabunturan to Davao City. Is it meant to be measured by millimeter, kilometer, or foot? Here, the correct answer is the kilometer. Although, these three units are for length or distance, millimeter and foot are two small units for a length that would cover for such a large distance. For our item number three, 
weight of a banana. Is it meant to be measured by kilogram, decimeter, or gallon? The correct answer is the kilogram. The unit decimeter is for length, while gallon is for volume. Also, you observe that when your parents buy banana, the seller's price depends on the weight of banana per kilogram. For our last item, a glass of orange juice. Is it meant to be measured by milliliter, gallon, or liter? That's right! The answer is milliliter. Although these three units are for volume, gallon and liter are too much units for a volume of a glass of orange juice. Now, moving to conversion of measurements. By definition, conversion of units is the conversion between different units of measurement for the same quantity, typically through multiplicative conversion factors. While conversion factor is a number used to change one set of units to another either multiplying or dividing. I need you to get your module and turn to page 9 for the examples. For our first example, convert 108 inches into feet. Here, we need to identify first the conversion factor or the relationship between two units. As you refer to the table of the English system in your module, one foot is equivalent to 12 inches. Given 108 inches, we will multiply the pair of conversion factors to this given measure. This will be 108 inches times one foot over 12 inches. By the way, Make sure that the unit given in the problem, in this case, is inch, should be found on the opposite location of the fraction for it to be eliminated. Dividing 108 by 12, the quotient is 9. Then we will affix the unit feet. Also, notice that since the smaller unit inches was converted the larger unit feet, the operation that we used is division. Therefore, 108 inches is equivalent to 9 feet. Did you get it correctly? If you haven't gotten it correctly, it's okay. We'll do better next time. For our second example, convert 39 decimeters to millimeters. Now, when given this kind of item, we need to list the conversion factors in order for us to attain the units given. In this case, decimeter and millimeter. In the metric system, there are 10 decimeter in 1 millimeter. And 1 meter is equivalent to 1000 millimeter. Writing our conversion expression, we will begin with the given 39 decimeter. And we will multiply this by 1 meter over 10 decimeter. Again, we place 10 decimeter in the denominator so that the unit decimeter will be cancelled out. After this, we will multiply this again by 1,000 millimeter over 1 meter. Here, the unit meter will be cancelled out. What remain now are 
39 times 1 times 1,000. Multiplying these remaining values, the product is 39,000 divided by 10 is equal to 3,900. Thus, 39 decimeters is equivalent to 3,900 millimeters. Who got it correctly? Great job! For our last example, let's try to solve this word problem. Joel is using a bed which is 2 meters long and 1.3 meters wide. What is the size of her bed in square centimeters? Come on, let's help Joel solve his problem. In order for us to solve his problem, we will look for the area of the bed. Area is length times width. The given are length is equal to 2 meters and the width is equal to 1.3 meters wide. Substituting the values, area is equal to length times width. Area is equal to 2 meters times 1.3 meters. Therefore, the area is equal to 2.6 square meters. Are you still with me? For your easy reference, you can check the metric system on page 6 to page 8. Again, we need to list the conversion factors needed to attain the units given. In this case, meter and centimeter. In the metric system, there are 100 square decimeter in 1 square meter. And 1 square decimeter is equivalent to 100 square centimeter. Writing our conversion expression, we will begin with a given width 2.6 square meter. What remain now are 2.6 times 100 times 100. Multiplying these values, the product is 26,000 square centimeter divided by 1 is equal to 26,000 square centimeter. Thus, 2.6 square meters is equivalent to 26,000 square centimeters. Did you convert it correctly? Well done! Now that you know how to convert measure, I'm sure you'll be able to do it next time. Just a quick recap. These are the tips for converting measurement. When converting large unit to a small unit, multiplication must be used. While when converting small unit to a large unit, division must be used. Please continue answering the remaining activity of your self-learning module. You can check your answers by referring to page 21 for the answer key. It has been a fun minutes of learning. I am Teacher Pearlfit Gabonada Pagas from Moncayo National High School, Moncayo West District, saying, Dito sa TV Escuela, Sa pag-aaral, sama-sama. Bye-bye!